Welcome back to Death by AI, the game that proves that even though we all have college degrees, we still can't read and spell for shit. If you don't know already, the goal of the game is simple. The AI is going to give us a prompt we need to survive, and it's our job as the players to respond with a scenario that will benefit our survival. At least, that's what we're supposed to do. I'm not a lesbian, but I drive a Subaru Outback. <laughs> you know for sturdy? It was supposed to be sturdiness, but it cuts me off. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. I tried to increase the production value this time around, so let me know what you think in the comments. And without further delay, let's get into the video. Alright, but yeah, we need to make sure we come up with our own prompts this time, since some of them are starting to repeat. I can make my own. You can if you want. Oh, I will. I'm the one this? Yep, yes. <laughs> no. Looks like someone didn't finish in time. Your fate has been sealed, Josh. It's too late. No. Dorothy tries to explain that I am already a free man. Once everyone realizes this, I am allowed to walk away. I swear to God, you bitch. Dorothy attempts to reason with the crowd, explain that they are already a free man, but the audience is unforgiving and uninterested in their words. <laughs> the game's organizer, a ruthless and cunning man, sneers at Dorothy's plea, declaring that the only way to earn freedom is through victory in the arena. Skilled and deadly gladiator eager to prove themselves swiftly in Dorothy's life in swift and merciless blue. Fuck. Uh, sucks. You can't reason with gladiators, well, dude. Apparently not. Rose tries to. I use my cunning... That's wit? Wit! That really is spelled wit. Okay. I use wit my cunning and athletic wit. ability to vanish my foes with my sword and shield. <laughs> the cunning white abilities. Right. Rose swiftly maneuvers around the arena, using their quick wit and agility to outsmart and outmaneuver their opponents. With precise strikes from a sword and shield, Rose is able to vanquish the foes one by one! Damn, why is Kelsey all getting the badass endings? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and she got it, man. Actually, that sounds about right. Alright, LaRouge tries to. I pay off the guy holding the match so he gives me the easiest opponent. With my ninja skills, I beat up my opponent and get a hot girl. Oh yeah, babe. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> babe, click next. This one's you. Alright, LaRouge attempts to bribe the match organizer, but they are not fooled and instead take offense oh. to the author, adding an extra opponent oh, to the shit. match. <laughs> Damn. The extra opponent is a hot girl. Despite their ninja skills, LaRouge is overwhelmed by the additional fighter and falls to the ground, defeated. Damn. As they lie there, the organizer declares LaRouge's freedom forfeit, and they are dragged away f to a gruesome fate. LaRouge did not survive. Oh man. Damn. Alright, dude. Yeah. Make chocolate drizzle tries to. I get naked and grease myself up with the blood of the fallen and I run around like a greased up deaf guy. Oh, family guy. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Make chocolate drizzle's bold move to catch the attention of the crowd and momentarily distract their opponents. However, their slippery surface from the blood causes them to lose their balance and fall, leaving them vulnerable to a fatal blow oh, from their opponent. Oh no! Make chocolate drizzle did not survive. All right, Pete. All right. Sweet, Sweet cheeks, cheeks tries, tries to. to. It, it is the, the year, year 300, 300 and I have and the, the biggest, biggest cheeks. cheeks. Okay. Who's, who's reading this? <laughs> I don't know. Are we doing it together? As a couple. Oh! Sweet, Sweet Cheeks tries to. It, it is, is the, the year, year 300, 300 and I have the, the biggest, biggest cheeks. cheeks that as I turn around and do a 360, 360 no-scope, my, my cheeks, cheeks hit my opponent. I. In coordination. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 They're well. perfect. Perfect. 10 out of 10. As Sweet Cheeks turns around, turns and, do around and do a 360 no scope, oh, their massive cheeks unexpectedly <laughs> hit their opponent in the face, stunning them momentarily. This gives Sweet Cheeks the opportunity to quickly strike the weapon, ultimately defeating their stunned opponent and emerging victorious in the gladiator match for their freedom. <laughs> Good job, Josh. Nice cheeks, bud. Thank you. Alright. Expire V card tries to. I use my thunder thighs to conjure actual thunder to destroy every opponent in my path. Also, Zeus is my father. I'm a total Chad. <laughs> Damn. Alright, this is gonna be What the fuck? No! <laughs> wait, 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 Did hold it on. You out? Yeah, yeah, it glitched me out. It's okay, bud. I'm reading for you. Did I die? Did I fucking die from this? 
However, yeah, the sheer power yeah, of the proved too much for expired V card to control. They were struck by a bolt of lightning. And it, what the? I'm immune to lightning. If I can conjure lightning, this is bullshit. He hurled his thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> As the crowd gasped in the shock, his fire beat her lifeless, lifeless body slumped to the ground, her thunderous thighs silenced forever. Fuck you, AI. <laughs> Spire beat card did not survive. Oh, that's You've bullshit. I thought I had that one in the bag. Afraid them thighs were too yes, thunderous for your own good. Yeah, they're too powerful. Me and Josh are the only two that survived. Okay. It's up to Reagan now. Oh. Oh, bonus round. Survive and you win two lives. You have been cornered oh, by a I venomous so. snake. Do we exit the situation again? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare! Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm not! Shit. I'm so bad at this. Your fate has been sealed. Do I still sound far away? It's, it's better. No, I think you're okay right now. The chocolate drizzle tries to pull out the oh. fruit that was hidden in my body. Oh. oh. And play oh. careless whisper until the snake realizes what I did. <laughs> what I did wrong. 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 <laughs> My chocolate drizzles attempt to pull out the flute and play careless whisper was met with confusion and disinterest from the venomous snake, which remained fixated on his prey. I know. The snake's deadly gaze never wavered, and it struck the chocolate drizzle with lightning speed. As the toxin coursed through my chocolate drizzles' veins, they realized too late that music was not the answer to this deadly predicament. <laughs> my chocolate right. drizzle did not survive. Damn. The AI is sassy today. He is. Yeah, AI does not like music. Dorothy tries to use my steel toed boots and brass knuckles to UFC beat this snake to death. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if that work. Let's see. Dorothy bravely stood her ground, putting on her steel toed boots and brass knuckles to engage in a fierce battle with the venomous snake. With swift and calculated movements, she managed to land a series of powerful blows on the snake, eventually defeating it! Dude, AI is bullshit, the snake dude. lay motionless on the ground. Dorothy emerges victorious, having successfully fought off the deadly threat. Nice. Ah, nice. That was great. That was creative. Thank you. Thank you. I figured, well, fucking punch it. Rose tries to. I use a tamed honey badger as an attack pet against the snake <laughs> while I walk away that's from smart, the that's situation. That's smart. That's smart. <laughs> All of a sudden, honey badgers. Oh shit. <laughs> Random honey badger. Moment. He tamed honey badger as an attack pet against the snake, but the badger, sensing Rose's fear, it, becomes yeah. agitated and turns this on Rose. Shit. <laughs> but honey badger as don't. As the badger attacks, the snake takes advantage of the distraction and strikes Rose, like, Dang. injecting Dang. its deadly venom. Holy shit! You got fucking turn a one v two with a two v one. This is bull shit. Rose falls to the ground, sinking to the venom, and the I'm badger's relentless assault. Okay, I'm ready. Le Rouge tries to. I pull out my snake charming flute and sing the snake oh, to sleep. Then I exit the door quietly and leave. Well, I've heard this one before. Le Rouge quickly pulls out their snake charming flute and begins to play a soothing melody. Here comes the but. The snake, mesmerized by the music, starts to sway and eventually falls Shut into the a comfort. Without making a sound, Le Rouge quietly slips out the door, leaving the venomous snake undisturbed. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Why did I die? You sing a snake to sleep, child. Apparently, Good Careless job. Whisper was not what the snake was into. <laughs> Brother, Careless Whisper does everything. Sweet Cheeks tries to. Through farting noises with my glorious cheeks, I am able to put the snake <laughs> at ease, allowing me to leave without a scratch. So what it was, was the flute. Absolutely. Genius, Josh. Genius. Uh, the flute was him all along. Wow. <laughs> Sweet Cheeks attempts to clone the venomous snake with a series of farting oh, noises, but the snake is not immune. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, the sudden loud sounds only seem to enrage it. And it strikes Sweet Cheeks with lightning speed, sinking its deadly fangs deep into their leg. As the venom courses through their veins, Sweet Cheeks realizes too late that their unorthodox plan was a fatal mistake. Josh, AI your is not ass needs to be rock to solid. You have impenetrable cheeks. They are resistant yes, right. to venom. You need, you need to watch your Iron Buns video some more. Expire V card tries to. Jesus. I'm an expert on snakes and know not to fuck with snakes. I have an ankle guards and bulletproof armor to resist bites. I leave the room. Oh, let's see, let's see. 
Inspired V-Card, confident in her knowledge of snakes, carefully makes their way out of the room. The ankle guards and bulletproof armor providing a sense of security. Uh, oh, 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 I oh, swear security. to God, I'm gonna punch this monitor. Here it comes. Uh, Here it comes. As they move away from the corner snake, it does not lunge at them, instead seeming to lose interest and slither away. Oh. Yes! Oh, I think you got Expire it! Expired V-Card breathes a sigh of relief, having successfully navigated the dangerous situation without being bitten. Expired V-Card survived. And then the honey badger attacked him. <laughs> that would be really funny. I'll walk out the room and I'll get fucking mauled by honey badgers. Just giant mutated honey badgers. <laughs> Twisted Rose's thing. honey badger then sensed that the snake couldn't finish the job, so he took a. <laughs> um, I better freaking win! <laughs> <laughs> did it have something to do with your sweet cheeks? It's gotta do with your sweet cheeks, I don't know, man. No, it didn't. The robot it didn't. is not immune. Rose, Rose tries to. to. I expertly use a knife to cut into a cactus to gain fresh water. Then I use my magic carpet to fly home. Cactus juice is the quenchiest. <laughs> <laughs> Rose carefully cuts into the cactus, successfully extracting a small amount of water that quenches the their thirst for the moment. With renewed energy, Rose unfurls their magic carpet and takes to the skies, yes! soaring above yes! the desert landscape as they fly mm. towards home. God damn it, I forgot about magic items. As the sun dips below the horizon, Rose lands safely back in their own village, exhausted but triumphant. <laughs> Get oh, damn. You can't get saved by superheroes, but get saved Reagan, by a fucking magic thank carpet. You. I fucking knew I was gonna get Reagan to sing with that one. I'm so happy you did it. Dorothy tries to. <laughs> I know that there's juice in a cactus, so with my machete, I cut God. up some cactus yes, and drink the juice and find my way out of the desert. I'm I promise good. we did not plan this. I but promise we did not plan this. Dorothy's attempt to quench her thirst with cactus juice proved to be a fatal mistake! <laughs> <laughs> the juice, although refreshing at first, soon caused severe stomach cramps and vomiting. This is some bullshit, Further dehydrating dude. the body. You can go fuck yourself. This thing is sexist! As the sun beat <laughs> down on them, Dorothy's body gave in to the desert's merciless conditions, and they succumbed to dehydration. Uh -huh. Their body found days later surrounded by the remnants of the cactus they had hoped would save them. You can fuck off, man. That's... It was oh, the that's carpet, man. Rigged. That's rigged. Leroux tries to. Don't fucking pat me. That was stupid. What's with the cacti? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cactus Everyone over here, man. It's gonna kill us all, but you're gonna live. Just wait. Just fucking wait. Avatar is in, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That doesn't make it different. They rouge man just to find a cactus and break it open to drink the juice, hoping it will provide much needed hydration. Well, I saw where Nyx was going, so I'm fucked. Yeah, good, good luck. However, the cactus they chose to drink from is actually toxic and causes mm -hmm. severe stomach pain to further dehydration. Despite their efforts, you should have to make the to their demise. And... <laughs> Apparently, if you say the same thing twice in a row, the robot's like, mm, not original, you die. Yeah, we need to cut that down. <laughs> Only one of you is getting out alive on this one now. Nah. Only one of you can survive off cactus juice. How did we all The pick? magic word, which is magic. <laughs> All right, Big Chocolate Drizzle tries to pee, but thankfully a rainstorm hits with a massive bucket next to me. Is it a rainstorm just okay. shits buckets? Yeah. <laughs> Big Chocolate Drizzle, in a desperate attempt to survive, tries to pee in hopes of gaining a little bit of liquid. However, just as they're about to let it out, a sudden ra rainstorm appears and drenches them, filling a massive bucket with fresh water. With their thirst quenched, they're able to survive another day in the unforgiving desert. Make chocolate drizzle survive. That makes sense. You didn't make it out, but you survived another day. I mean, yeah, you I survived guess it another works. day. This is a rainstorm mean... hits with a massive bucket. It's what? <laughs> I was waiting for the bucket to kill you. Sweet cheeks tries to. Through my geology knowledge, I am able to pinpoint a location where there might be an underground well. I dig with my hands and find water. Okay, here we go. Sweet Cheeks' geology knowledge proves to be a lifesaver as they successfully locate a potential underground well and dig with their hands to find a small cache of water. Though the water is murky and stagnant, Sweet Cheeks drinks uh -oh. gratefully, yes! feeling their parched throat and dry lips revitalize. <laughs> with renewed hope and energy, Sweet Cheeks yes! sets off once more into yes! the desert, determined to find no their way back to civilization. No more hey, you won, Josh! Okay, so I'm worried now. Money? Because Josh and I basically have the same one, 
and knowing this fucking yeah, AI is gonna kill me off next. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, gonna lose. You you are totally gonna fucking lose. Man. All right, it's Spire it, B it. card tries to using my intense knowledge of, of survival skills. I dig a hole deep enough to it's find a well. Thing. I solved the drought. I solved the drought by by turning the desert into forest. I had to cut down with some letters. Eh. <laughs> Good luck, bud. That's, it, gonna, it, hey, that's gonna fuck you over. It, it didn't work for me. So yeah. let's see if it works for you. Expired V card with their impressive knowledge of survival skills managed to dig a hole deep enough to strike water. But in their haste to quench their thirst, they failed to properly purify the water and yep. ended up catching there a deadly is. waterborne illness. Oh illness. Illness. <laughs> In this, in this, in this. <laughs> this water tastes a little funny. <laughs> as, these, as the days passed, expired meat curse condition rapidly deteriorated, and they eventually succumbed to the infection. Their body weakened by dehydration and exposure to the harsh desert Damn. environment. Their body weakened by illness. <laughs> by illness. <laughs> I read it too quickly. <laughs> I just want. I just want the time? It's time to get in this. <laughs> I want this drawn as a chalkboard, and then you have illness, and I just cross it out and put in this. And just die. <laughs> you didn't survive. Go ahead. In the end, Expired V Card's valiant effort to survive the desert ultimately proved to be their downfall. Expired V Card did not survive. Fuck you, Josh. So, so, so if you do repeat it, on then this, only one of you lives, and the other yep. one doesn't. Well, fuck. I. All right, well that's good to know. So you have to be original, original enough so you don't fucking die. I was willing to take it for Quintius. Josh, you're picking. It is time. Okay, Josh. okay, I'm, I'm typing. Oh <laughs> God, Josh is making his own prompt. Let's um, go. Who's gonna work us? with? Yeah, I'm here. You are stuck yeah. with no ass. <laughs> no, nope. you're stuck with no sweet cheeks. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, survived with three lives. Come back round. One day to relieve yourselves from constipation or you explode of poop. <laughs> <laughs> explode of poop. <laughs> <laughs> He's cracking himself up over it. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. AI is not gonna get my thing. I fully anticipate I'm gonna die. I'm so I passive have... aggressive against this fucking AI right now. You have no idea. <laughs> as long as you're original enough, you might be fine. Let's see. Expired oh, card tries to. I drink a lot of coffee and laxatives. That won't kill me. Fuck you, AI bot. And be happy afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I think you lose. <laughs> you you get hit by. Expired V card decides to take matters into their own hands by drinking a combination of coffee and laxatives and attempt to relieve themselves from constipation. However, unfortunately, <laughs> the excessive intake of the substances <laughs> leads to severe dehydration and renal failure, ultimately <laughs> causing their untimely demise. <laughs> oh my god, I can't win. You shouldn't have I... cursed out the AI bot. You shouldn't have done it. You insulted God, and God was not happy. <sighs> oh, Dorothy tries to. Suffer from the illness. I shove a vacuum cleaner up my ass to suck up the poop, then get chocolate ice cream to celebrate. Two girls, Ew. one cup. <laughs> Damn. That's, oh, so that's nasty. Why did you have to? <laughs> Dorothy's attempt to use a vacuum cleaner to relieve their constipation ended in disaster <laughs> as the device became lodged in the rectum, <laughs> causing severe internal Destination? The ensuing explosion of feces and debris was so violent that it propelled Dorothy across the room, leaving them lying in a pool of their own waste. Oh my god. So I still fucking exploded? Dude, you're turning yourself into a poop cannon. As they lay there, gasping for air, Dorothy realized too late that the chocolate ice cream celebration would have to wait until the afterlife. Damn. Wait. <laughs> This reminds me of, um, Oh Dear, where you wrong. just poop and fly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Man, it's a vacuum cleaner. It's not meant to blow. It's meant to suck, you dick. <laughs> well, yeah, it's all your well, All right, let's see what happens. Rose tries to... I drink apple juice, prune juice, and take a laxative. That, in addition with my genetics, should have me shitting for the <laughs> next week and a half. 
If you survive for the last of the hydration rectal trauma. Rose's desperate attempt to relieve their constipation seems to be working as they start to feel a surge of bowel activity after consuming the potent mix of apple juice, prune juice, and the laxative. As the day wears on, Rose's toilet becomes their best friend as they spend <laughs> the next several hours in a marathon session of ahem, evacuation. This, fuck you, AI. In the end, Rose is victorious. Now be it exhausted with their digestive system back in working order and their risk of explosions safely averted. Corey, I'm so sorry. No one becomes dehydrated fucking... from coffee. But you do, but you survive on prune man. juice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm petty. I'm petty right now. Love you, Kelsey. Fuck you. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's my turn. <laughs> But also, this is so fucking funny. I had yeah, to look away for a second. Yeah, it's funny. You're funny because you fucking got away from it. <laughs> Rigged. Rigged. Beirut tries to go to the hospital and have the them do surgery to remove all the poop from your colon. Recover recovery from surgery and poop normal from the known. <laughs> Do you know? Uh, right the that, for desperate solution for their predicament. That's that's the doctor, that's however, easy was, way out. has attempted to perform such an unconventional surgery, and after a series of tests, they discovered that Le Rouge's colon was too uh, severely impacted to save the operation. Oh no! As oh, from the night, Le Rouge's body breached its breaking point, and the, they tragically exploded in a mess oh, of feces no. and gore, never to be seen again. It's like cutting up a water surgery, balloon. And the doctors wouldn't operate because it was too violent. All right, make chocolate drizzle tries to. I drink three bottles oh of magnesium God. citrate and pray to God citrate. that I... Citrate? 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 Citrate. I'm not a citrate. scientist. It's, just, it's, just, uh, it's chemist. Chemistry. Which is a form it's of magnesium. science. Bottles of magnesium citrate and pray to God that I don't die That's from right. dehydration. It's not that far, man. Oh, speech Horsey. impediment. Speech impediment. Ch chocolate make, make chocolate drizzles decision to drink three fuck you to drink three <laughs> bottles of magnesium citrate in a desperate I, I said it right that time you did. no no it was the it was the stutter <laughs> shut up <laughs> in a desperate attempt to relieve their constipation proves to be a fatal mistake the excessive intake of the laxative causes severe dehydration leading to organ failure and ultimately death before they are able to find relief why do you all get fucking organ failure and dehydration man what the I Fuck. Exploded. Fuck you, Nick. Prune juice is where it's exploded apparently. with the vacuum cleaner up my ass. Sweet Cheeks <laughs> tries to. I laugh uncontrollably until my bowels become revitalized and I poop my brains out. Well, Josh, I don't think you're living this one. Sweet Cheeks' is uncontrollable <laughs> laughter echoes through the room, but unfortunately, it doesn't quite have the desired effect on their constipated bowels. As the hours tick by, Sweet Cheeks' abdomen begins to ache and swell, and eventually, they feel an intense pressure building up inside. In a gruesome and tragic turn of events, Sweet Cheeks' body literally explodes from the pent-up waist, covering the surrounding area in a mess of blood and feces. So we all fucking explode, or dehydrate and die, except for Kelsey. This is an impossible task. Man, Kelsey freaking washed us again. All right, are we going again? I yeah. I guess, man. I mean, I, I know I know Kelsey's gonna win one or another. So if Kelsey was the first one, I quit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are we trying to do another death by AI, or are we trying to like actually gain something? Wait, can we do what do you mean? Since we have a lot of us. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that sounds fun. I don't yeah, know what that means. Is that another game that's playing our power? Okay, we let's, can do let's that. Let's try. Game.